back to my channel and if you're new welcome so today is basically just going to be a um update on everything going on in my life right now <laughs> and I'm gonna be getting ready because I have a date tonight so why not multitask <laughs> um let me brush my hair because I haven't brushed my hair yet so, uh, yeah, I haven't been doing my lives, and a few people reached out, and like, oh, you're not doing your lives anymore? I just kind of, I don't know, I just felt like, I don't know, to be honest, I just didn't feel like doing them, I haven't felt like doing them lately, and so, I haven't been. Why is my part so deep? <laughs> But, I know, look at my, so my face is so, like, red and just, <laughs> But, anywho, I don't know why my deep is so part, or, <laughs> my deep is so part. <laughs> I don't know why my deep is so part, or, <laughs> my deep is so part. <laughs> this is, this is how my life has been. Um, sorry, I have my little mirror over there. But yeah, so it's been interesting couple weeks. Um, one, I'll start off because I'm sure a lot of people have seen the pictures I posted on Instagram. So I was working with this um, boutique for just a short amount of time. Um, it kind of just didn't end up panning out fully. Um, yeah, it was fun for the three times they actually had me come in. Um, but yeah, so I ended up um, just saying like, hey, you know, this isn't working out. Um, probably for the better. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. Uh, but yeah, so here I am. So I posted those pictures because I was like, well, why not? Like, a lot of them I thought were super cute, and the lighting was good, and my makeup was decent, and so I was like, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I totally had to put a shirt on. I just felt too exposed with the tank top. <laughs> I'm so weird. I'm so weird. But okay, oh yeah, so I wanted to, um, my roommate made me that for my birthday. The Tootsie Rolling Stone Travels, uh, picture, <laughs> words, um, but yeah, so, I was super excited, uh, she gave it to me early, and so, I just rearranged my stuff a little bit to put it on the wall, um, yeah, so this is <laughs> kind of just what I do with my hair to give me extra little wavies. Why is this not twisting? <clears throat> but okay, so um, I had that poll going on my channel or on my community tab, and everyone that voted, thank you so much. It was uh, to choose where my birthday trip is gonna be to, where I'm gonna travel to, and um, the winning place was. <laughs> Niagara Falls so yeah I'm gonna do that I'm probably gonna go for three to four days maybe like three days uh, it's only like depending on which route I take it's like about five hour trip so I um, was thinking about going up cuz Erie like if I go the one way Lake Erie is in the route and so I was thinking about doing that. Um, I could stop there too for like a day and just like do some lake time. Maybe some, I don't know. I'm assuming they have beaches. I've never been up. I think Lake Erie and Lake 
Huron. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, are the only lakes I haven't, the Great Lakes I haven't been to. But, I mean, I think I, like, I've been, no, I don't know. No, that was like Michigan and Superior. Okay, never mind. Boop, boop, boop. Um, but yeah, so I'm so very excited. So thank you guys for voting in that. Like, it's, you guys are the best. I love my people. Um, so my birthday is October 1st, but I'm thinking about doing it around the middle of October. Where's my calendar? Yeah, so maybe like the second week of October. Um, and then I'll probably do it like during the week so that there's less people because people, <laughs> I'm such a hermit. Um, yeah, that's my hair. Oh, so I bought this oil. It's rosehip uh, oil serum. This, well, that's the one I'm using right now. But I bought it from the Healing um, Healing Body Shop. Who, um, if y'all know my BFF on um, YouTube, which we talk pretty much every day. She's like the greatest person. Uh, Spice Life TV. <laughs> Spice. So she does like this segment every Wednesday where she highlights. Um, black woman owned business. Well, I mean, she did have one guy in there, so she, uh, she is open to, uh, having men on her show too, but she does it live every Wednesday and she just showcases them and talks to them and she, like, after she had bought their products and, um, so I saw... Lu Luandra, I think is her name. Sorry if I'm butchering that. But she was on there. And so I'm trying to do like a lot more like natural stuff. Um, but yeah, I love this oil. Like this is around the time when like my skin starts drying out and then like fall and winter are kind of dry. So I just like pile on the oil. And then I always try to get my neck because I feel like a lot. <laughs> oh my God, she's so annoying. I feel like a lot of times you could tell a woman's age by her neck and I don't know why like that's the only thing like I don't mind my eye wrinkles or my forehead wrinkles or these little smile line jowly wrinkles but I don't like the neck wrinkles <laughs> but okay focus actually focus um yeah so I'm gonna take the dogs with me on this birthday trip weekend and um uh, I'll pro I was thinking about once I get up to Niagara, I was thinking about boarding them just for a night or like a day so that I could, um, uh, I could actually go and do some of the stuff around that area. Um, cause it's kind of hard, you know, like going into places and I don't want to leave the dogs in the car and, uh, for like long periods of time or stuff. Um, so yeah, I might board them for a day just to, um, what's it called? Just to like be able to actually do some stuff and mommy needs a break cause mommy's with them. I'm going to have to insert a clip of just me trying to sleep and how ridiculous they are, but I love them and they're spoiled and I don't like make them move. So I'll insert that clip. But yeah, okay, so, you guys, I don't think I posted it on any social media. I'm so bad with that stuff. Like, I'm trying to get better, but I'm so bad with it. Um, I got a new vehicle. <laughs> um, I got rid of the van, which, I mean, to be honest, like... I thought it was going to be a lot sadder than I was because my old SUV that I had when I got, well, I had it while I was in the army and then when I got out and then one time when I was driving home from, um, I was going to school in downtown Pittsburgh and, uh, I was driving home and this older lady rear ended me and totaled my, um, SUV and 
Uh, I cried when that thing got totaled. One, because her insurance company was horrible and they were just like giving me a hard time and just being mean. And um, so I, um, yeah, anyways, <sighs> this brain of mine just keeps going and uh, I don't even know where to. But anyways, so I was sad and I cried when I had to get rid of that vehicle. Um, but my van, and y'all saw how much I had been through with my van, like, it's craziness. But, so yeah, I definitely, I think I was just at that point where I'm like, I need an upgrade, like, the seal around the top, because it was like the camper van, so it was like an extended, like, roof thing, it was starting to leak, um, and then it didn't have heat, it didn't have AC, um, what else was there? Um, oh yeah. I don't know. It was just getting, it was just getting to that point. So I kept trying to find like new vehicle. Well, not new cause I wanted something used. Um, because I definitely didn't want like a new car payment right now. And like with the insurance that comes with that and everything because like, most of the time I think when you get like a loan to get like a new car you have to have like full coverage and I ain't, I ain't messing with all that but so um y'all don't judge how I do my eyebrows <laughs> um but so yeah so I was calling around to all these places and they're like oh it's sold this weekend or you know we don't have it anymore First off, car places, please update your stuff, man. Like, really? So it was really hard to, like, find something. And then I finally found, I went to Indiana, PA, which was, like, an over an hour drive away. And it was a Nissan Pathfinder 2012 um, with how many miles? I already forgot. Um... But, so I went up there, I checked it out, and Spice was like, <laughs> she was making fun of me, because I just pretty much, I went there, I took it for like a five minute test drive, and I bought it. <laughs> so, it's really nice, I'll insert um, pictures in a clip of that. Okay, so that's where the third row is. I have the third row flipped down and just the last of my stuff out of the van. And then here's the second row, which the seats fold down. So I'm just gonna end up folding everything down for the dogs. And then, here's the driver's side. Oh, what's that? Air conditioner, you say? <laughs> Oops, sorry, I'm all shaking. It's got the, uh, Boom, fancy. Oh my God, my arm is shaking. I'm so hungry. Um, yeah, so I had asked them because, I mean, the van was just kind of slowly falling apart. I mean, I had driven it cross country twice, like coast to coast. So like it just, over three years, it had gotten like a lot of <laughs> mileage on it. Um, but so yeah, so I asked the guy, I was like, do you know, like, what can I do with it? Because for me to like get the new vehicle back and just, it was just going to be a hassle. And then if I were to sell the van, like I wouldn't have gotten much for it. So it would have been more of a hassle to like deal with the title transfer and all that stuff. And so the dude was like, um, we can like basically just junk it and you can get $300 for it, and I was like, deal. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's what happened. So then I dra drove home that day, and I love it. I think it's really good. It's really, it has three rows, so I just have both the rows down, and I bought, like, a liner to put in the back so that... The dogs aren't messing up the backs of the seats and stuff. And then I bought one of those things that goes between the driver's and passenger side seats so that they can't hop up front because usually like when I go into a store or something, they like hop up front um, and just sit there. And in the van, I always let them 
like one of them sit like in the passenger seats um so yeah <laughs> Uh, I didn't want them, because this has, like, those, like, the leather kind of seats. It's leather. Why am I saying the leather kind of? Um, and I didn't want them jacking that up, and then I just, they, like, get their slobber all over the windows. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, y'all can stay in the back. Like, you're good back there. You have your bed and your water bowl, and then the air conditioner, there's, like, vents back there, so... <sighs> Y'all, they are so spoiled. Like, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so that's the car. That's the vehicle I got. Oh, and it has a 6,000 pound towing capacity, which that was um, one of the important criteria that I was looking for because I want to upgrade to maybe eventually get like a small camper. That way, Oops. That way there's like more room for me, more room for them. Um, and then I could also like leave the camper somewhere and have like the AC and everything running for them. And uh, like if I have to go to the store or something instead of just taking everything and you know, it just sometimes it's hard like traveling full time with two dogs. So yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what else was I going to tell you guys? That was the vehicle. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> so I decided like two or three weeks ago, I don't remember exactly when, that I was going to like get back on dating apps and stop just being a scared little hermit. And, uh... So I got it. So, okay. Let me tell y'all, I recommend Bumble. Um, just because, okay. So with plenty of fish, like just anyone can message you and it gets like super like crazy, like, because so many people, and I feel like it's not even that people like read what you write on your profile and stuff like that just everyone and their mother messages you and some people say some crazy stuff and why is there like this blank spot right there um and so it was just like overwhelming like and then I'm super nice so I'm just trying to be nice to everyone and like <sighs> um <laughs> but so um I decided I got off that and I was like I'm just gonna do Bumble that's it and I think I was talking to like just like three guys but two of them like just kind of like fizzled out I was like eh, it's not what I'm feeling um but so I started talking to this one guy and <laughs> he's super sweet and super nice and just yeah like I think tonight's gonna be our fourth date. Um, so he's making me dinner. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to this like art exhibit thing. And so I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll see. We'll see how everything pans out. And then maybe I'll talk like more about the first dates. Um, but he's super, super sweet and like just thoughtful and. Yeah. <laughs> um, anywho, <laughs> now that I'm blushing. Like, oh my god! <laughs> For real? Wow! Um, oh, so I wanted to ask y'all. <laughs> my focus. <laughs> y'all already know how I am, though. Um, so I wanted to ask y'all um, about, like, have any of y'all been to Niagara Falls? And if so, you have to, like, let me know, like, what I should do. I haven't really started planning it all yet. Uh, but I'm super excited to go. So if you guys have been and you have any advice or what, like, I absolutely should see. Um, I'm more into, like, just doing, like, the nature -y stuff and being out and 
I like going into like the towns and seeing like the cute shops and stuff, but I just kind of, I don't know, like if there's some good hike spot, hiking spots around there or, um, what's it called? Obviously the falls, but I don't like, I haven't looked into what's there and I'm really sad because I wanted to go. Y'all, um, I think I mentioned before that I wanted to go to Canada. I have, um, two YouTube friends that live in Toronto area that I really wanted to visit and see, but, um, you know, everything's still going on and y'all know, <laughs> y'all already know, but, uh, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. And I'm also thinking about doing a trip this fall down to Tennessee. Um, I was thinking about doing maybe Gatlinburg um, and then uh, Nashville, which I have a friend that lives down in Nashville area. So... I'm super excited about that. I would love to see her. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Slowly working on this. Um, what else have I been up to? <laughs> oh, I'm still tutoring um, English as a second language. So that's a lot of fun still. Um... I know for a minute there, I was kind of getting like overwhelmed just because I was like, am I doing this well enough? Like, I didn't want to let them down. So I was super like nervous, like, oh my God, they're going to hate me and not get anything out of this. And I'm the worst tutor in the world. And yeah, you know how sometimes you just like... I don't know. I'm so, I guess I'm just like, so self-conscious about <laughs> everything. Um, but I kind of, I talked to one of the guys that works there and, uh, like he's one of, he's like my, not, I guess manager kind of like the guy that oversees my stuff. And, uh, He's super sweet, and so, like, he was, like, talking to me about it, and, like, you know, blah, 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 like, putting me at, this looks really horrible, I know, sorry. <laughs> um, I'll clean it up in a minute. But, uh, yeah, so he was just, like, really helpful. <sighs> so, I'm back to, like, I like it a lot. Uh, we're still doing, like, the Zoom meetings, um... Which was hard for me at first, too, because I, uh, like, I'm one of those people, like, as much as I sometimes dread being around people because I'm so awkward and just, um, nervous, uh, like, I like to do stuff with people so I can, like, just read their, like, feel their energy and read, like, their body language and just then you can better assess, um, like what's working and what's not working or if they're vibing or not. Because like, so with my old job in the army, like body language and just being able to do that, like read a person and know when to adjust or if things just aren't going right, like is a huge part of it. So <laughs> look at my eyes. Um, so yeah, so I feel better about it now, though. Um, but, oh yeah, that's what I was going to tell you guys. So I also applied to VIP Kid to start teaching English online, um, which they work with, like, Chinese students, so I'm really hoping to hear back from them soon. Um, and, like, that would be nice because then I would never have Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> I'm such a weird hermit. Like, why am I like this? Uh, 
Okay, so I just totally went off screen and did my makeup because apparently I can't talk and do my makeup at the same time. Um, but now I'm finna do my hair and get ready to go. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for being so patient with me and sweet and I just love it. You guys are amazing. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited that so I have some mini trips planned coming up and things are just looking good right now but all right I will see you guys on the next one and I love you and you're amazing and bye